You're on Boise's Mix 106, it's Matt Steele, and they're here, the All-American Rejects. Hello! Wow. Thank you guys for coming in, Tyson, Nick, Mike, Chris, all uh, doing a sold-out show at the venue. You guys pumped? Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Have you, you guys uh, been to Boise before? I have, and they have as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, how do you say it? I just want to make sure you know how to say it. I, right I did the research last night. You did? It is Boise. Yes. No, okay. it's Boise. <laughs> Boise. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, the first time I came here, I, I got on stage and hosed it. I'm like, Boise. And everyone, you know, so Boise. Boise. Yeah. All right. Boy, and then like a letter C. So does that mean it's JC? <laughs> uh, your fourth album you guys are working on, do you find it harder to come up with material? Is it easier? I think it's it's crazy. Like, when we, when we started writing for this record three years ago, it was like, uh, we... We had such a crazy, you know, grounding when we got off the road for when the world comes down because we've been doing this for ten years and we've been in a bus and right. a radio station and in uh, you know a vessel of some sort. So you kind of get locked away from reality for a while. And so this record's sort of about, I guess, you know, the the, the awakening of, of of a person at in their mid twenties, you know, because it's uh, we we stopped for a second and just sort of looked around. And um, you know, they say you have your whole life to write your first record. Yeah. But it seems like, you know, we experienced a whole lifetime of crap, you know, writing this third, this fourth record, so. Well, and that, you kind of lead me to my next question, like, take me through the process of a song, uh, all the way from the writing to making it and recording it, uh, just like Beekeeper's Daughter. Well, I mean, what, how long does that take? Beekeeper's Daughter, for instance, was, uh, we, we, we ran up, ran away up to the Sequoia Mountains in some cottage on a hill, which honestly, we didn't even really know what it, where we were, because when we write, we just sort of imprison ourselves inside a, a cabin, and, uh, you know, it was, I think it was like, was it the first song we wrote for the, the record? Almost, it was one of the first. Yeah, and um, we just, uh, we, that came up with the, this little hook, bouncing on a piano, and Nick grabbed... This was the, a good, this was a guitar song, I think. Was it? I think we were just wandering around the porch. Okay. And I heard that la da 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 part that yeah. you like so much. Yes. <laughs> and um, Nick took it and sort of we finished demoing it out. And Nick was cooking breakfast the next day, and there was a can of honey on the counter and it said Beekeeper's Daughter on it. Yeah. And Nick was like, "What if we call the song Beekeeper's Daughter?" And I was like, "Sure, Nick." That <laughs> well, listen, man. Thank you guys for uh, coming in. Definitely tear it up tonight at the venue. And uh, let's check out Beekeeper's Daughter right now. Mix one hundred and six. Do it. Play it. Sorry for the offense.